The question, are we alone, seems to be the only definitive reality where everybody is waiting for an answer. Okay, it is true many have shared personal testimonies involving contact of various kinds from other worlds. Not all of them are like Dr. Greer, for example, and his community, and the CE5 experience. They've gone as far as creating an app in order to facilitate such contact. While it is uncertain whether these methods are foolproof, many from that community will say otherwise. After doing some research and having had an experience personally, I would like to talk about these galactic brethren of ours and whether their contact with Earth can be considered benevolent. In the UFO community, Individuals who have disclosed abduction experiences often recount encounters with a diverse array of extraterrestrial beings, each characterized by unique natures and intentions. For example, the Greys, they supposedly come from the Zeta Reticuli star system in the Southern Celestial Hemisphere and are considered one of the Earth's closest extraterrestrial neighbors. Situated about 40 light years away is what has been said. Depicted as tall humanoids with distinctive gray features and long heads, they are often cast as the bad guys in the media, of course, and frequently reported by alien abductees, coincidentally. These extraterrestrials have a notable inclination for abductions, treating Earth like a genetic treasure trove, if you will. They visit, gather a selection of humans, they transport them home for unknown cosmic purposes, and if dissatisfied, they return the individuals and opt for a different choice. Okay, if we're basing this on the benevolent scale, I'm not feeling really warm and fuzzy so far. And then you have the Arcturians, believed to be the most ancient and wisest among the known Milky Way species, are considered one of the extraterrestrial races in contact with Earth. They originated in the first life-giving system in our galaxy, potentially serving as the ancestors for various species including humans. Turians stand around five feet tall with green skin and penetrating eyes. However, despite their small stature, their intellectual focus has granted them advanced intelligence. Overall, the Arcturian reputation is that of kindness and love. And then there are the Nordics, said to look like Norse gods. Blonde with brilliant blue eyes and the bodies of six foot tall, finely toned athletes. The Greys get a lot of attention when it comes to alien sightings, but the Nordics are a species that come into contact with humans almost as much as they do. However, they are more interested in the well being of the human race than the Greys are. Even though some eyewitness reports claim to have seen Nordics in the same alien craft as Greys. Now, as to what is the hierarchy amongst these different types of extraterrestrial beings and how is it that they could be spotted on a craft working side by side or together or in some capacity is beyond anything that we could fathom, at least at this point. Hopefully, in the near future, most of this will reveal itself. While there are many types of extraterrestrial beings being documented, talked about, sketched, brought up under hypnosis. We're gonna go ahead and end it right here with some footage that was taken in Florida. Disappearing too. You gotta be careful. What the heck is that? Is this appearing? Yes. Yeah, it's a UFO. It's called cloaking. You know what that means? 
It's gone. Thank you. Big. It's disappearing too. You gotta be careful. What the heck is that? Is this appearing? Yes. Yeah, it's a UFO. It's called cloaking. You know what that means? And go ahead and give us your opinion on what you think it might be. Uh, it looks at first glance like Starlinks. However, it does seem to blink out completely. It's really hard to say what it might be. Go ahead and leave a comment below and let us know what you think it might be. Anyways, thanks again for taking the time to watch our videos. Be sure to like and subscribe. As you might have noticed, we are really trying to build this new youtube channel for our news website tohi news keep tuning in